What is the mass of this watermelon? In this lesson, you will learn how to estimate the mass of an object by using reasoning. Let's review. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Everything has mass. Gases, liquids, and solids all have mass. This mathematical symbol means approximately or about. We will use that when we make estimations. Take a look at this pineapple. It may have a mass of exactly 987 grams, but we can estimate and say it's about 1,000 grams. We measure the mass of objects in grams and kilograms. A paper clip has a mass of about 1 gram and a baseball bat has a mass of about one kilogram. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So, 1,000 paper clips has the same mass of one baseball bat. Common misunderstanding. Thinking that the mass of an object is related to the size of an object. Take a look at this balloon and baseball. Now, even though the, the balloon is bigger than the baseball, the baseball actually has more mass than the balloon. Sometimes we make estimations when we do not have the time or equipment to find exact measurements. Remember, estimations do not have to be exact, just pretty close. When we grocery shop, we might estimate how much we are going to spend instead of adding every single thing on a paper or using a calculator. We may tell people we will be somewhere in about two hours. When we cook, we might estimate ingredients instead of measuring every single ingredient. We make estimations of mass by using reasoning and comparing unknown objects to benchmark objects. As you encounter more objects, you start to associate different masses with certain objects. A paper clip has a mass of about 1 gram. Two nickels have a mass of about 10 grams. A smartphone has a mass of about 100 grams. And a pineapple has a mass of about 1,000 grams. We know 1,000 grams is also equal to 1 kilogram, so let's use that instead. Let's use two of the objects we just learned about to estimate the mass of something we do not know. Remember, a paperclip has a mass of about 1 gram. And two nickels have a mass of about... 10 grams. Using that, what do you think is the mass of these two pieces of gum? The mass is about 5 grams. Let's do another one. Two nickels have a mass of about 10 grams, and a smartphone has a mass of about 100 grams. Using that, what do you think the mass of two AA batteries is? The mass is about 50 grams. A smartphone has a mass of about 100 grams, and a pineapple has a mass of 1,000 grams, or 1 kilogram. Using that, what do you think is the mass of this corn? It's about 500 grams. A pineapple has a mass of 1 kilogram, and an average basketball player has a mass of about 100 kilograms. Using that, what do you think the mass is of this fourth grade student? His mass is about 50 kilograms. Estimate the mass of this watermelon. Remember, you want to use benchmark masses, which are objects we do know the mass of. If a pineapple has a mass of about one kilogram, and we know watermelons are usually twice or three times as big as a pineapple, we can estimate that this watermelon has a mass of about 2 to 4 kilograms. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the mass of an object by using reasoning.